Hi, Cindy. Is this your first time at Tribeca? So, uh, it is. I've, uh, my producer directed a film called First Monday in May that opened Tribeca a few years ago and on which I was a story consultant. So we did come to Tribeca for that, but this is my first um, movie that I've directed at Tribeca. And it's really exciting to be here. Congratulations. Thank you very much. What, um, why did you feel the need to make a documentary on Andre? So I think that Andre is known as this larger than life, funny performer. Um, but I think that that's only part of the story. And I had watched him, you know, since probably 1994 in fashion documentary after fashion documentary, but always in a supporting role. Big and funny, but always supporting. And his story is so interesting and is so much a story really about American culture and um, about his journey that I thought that it was really um, important and I was really excited about working with him on it. Is there any, is there any time or um, maybe maybe personally or like, sorry, yeah, maybe indirectly or directly that he's impacted you somehow? Yeah, I mean, I think that I sort of came of age in the 90s and watched him you know, I saw him in the pages of Vogue. I saw him in, you know, House of Style. And he always represented this figure that, you know, he wore, you know, clothes unlike anyone else. He was really represented someone who was a self-creation. And I think that that had a, a big impact on me. Why did you decide to uh, call the documentary The Gospel According to Andre? Why did we decide to call it that? So we decided to call the movie The Gospel According to Andre because the idea really is that the movie is Andre telling his own story. This is his gospel. I, f I feel excellent. I'm really excited to show this movie in New York City. It's the first time we've screened it for an audience in New York. And, you know, this is the city that Andre moved to 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 follow his dream and um, I just couldn't be more excited to be here. And what I think that I have seen him in fashion documentary after fashion documentary since probably like unzipped in 1994 and he always is in these you know grand over-the-top performances but they always had the feel of a performance and they were always as a sort of supporting role talking about someone else and his story is so interesting and I think so important and I think he's an important figure in American cultural history so that was what drew me to his story. What was the process like? Yeah. I mean I think that it was you know he is um, a strong personality he's made he's you know spent a career shaping images and so I think it was an interesting thing for him to go into a film that was really more about shedding some of those layers um, you know and I think we built trust over time and in many ways it was a collaborative process I mean I think that I hope that the audience understands that he is a complex man um, and for as larger than life a character as he is he's also you know, deeply spiritual, he's moved by nature, he needs quiet and privacy. Um, and then I think also that I view him as an important figure in our culture and I hope that, you know, that will come through. Yeah, I mean, I think if you think a story is important, no matter what anyone tells you, trust your instinct because your gut says, says a lot um, and surround yourself with people who believe in you and will support you. Yeah, I mean, it means so much because I've lived in New York. New York's really my adopted home. I've lived here for about 20 years. And, you know, I remember in the first movie that I worked on, I remember filming in Tribeca. You know, it was before September 11th when the Twin Towers were kind of looming in the background in one of the shots. And it's like, you know, this festival really was born after that tragedy and to watch it evolve over the years and now to have a film here really really means a lot. Yes, I saw the um, the Rachel Divide which was really really excellent um, about the former head of the NAACP chapter who was you know it came out that she actually was born a white woman um, and it was it was a really good film really complex 
um, what was the other movie that I saw? I also saw the Maplethorpe uh, feature, which I have been sort of, I, I'm a fan of Anzi Timoner, the director, and I've kind of, she's a former documentary director, so I've really watched that project evolve over the years, and so that was really exciting.